Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. Before getting to this video where I went to the largest 7-Eleven in the world, just wanna give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, AG1. A travel pack, or in this case, a scoop of AG1 has been part of my morning routine for a couple years now. Really simple, eight to 12 ounces of water, scoop of AG1 goes in, shake it up, and drink. So every morning before my workout or my morning run, instead of a random mix of half a dozen vitamins I used to take, now a scoop of this gets me 75 vitamins, minerals, probiotics, which I desperately need. Whole food sourced superfoods. It's such a convenient way to stay healthy. I showed you guys my collection of vitamin bottles before. It's so hard to keep track of. It's a pain to carry around. It's expensive. Now a scoop of AG1 covers my nutritional basis and a whole lot cheaper. And the reason I love taking this in the morning, it gives me a good burst of energy right before my workout. Out. It's just easy to keep a good habit where you can actually feel the results. And when you get your package inside, you'll find a pack of AG1, a travel bottle, a bottle of immune supporting vitamin D, which I highly recommend. And AG1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the highest quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. So if you want to give this drug to my link down below, you'll get a free one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your water. This is really a game changer when it comes to supporting your immune system because AG1 really does give your body everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. All right, I'm gonna get my day started and you gotta check out the 7-Eleven. Here we are, the town of Pattaya. It's a beach town here in Thailand known for its vibrant nightlife and the largest 7-Eleven in the world that also looks like a cruise boat. This is also the coolest 7-Eleven I've ever seen. There's a huge outdoor seating area, ATM. From a distance, I thought that was an actual cruise ship. Oh my gosh, they sell giant pork knuckles here. Wow, the whole middle counter is like a ship as well. There's a monitor system for the whole 7-Eleven. Humidity, temperature, everything about the store is here. There's snacks, you can get cute little sailor outfits for your kids. Hey, that's cute. A little plastic kitchen set. There's toys, water guns. I can't wait to go upstairs. There's a ton of chips, tons of snacks. Whoa, look at all the different Lay's flavors here. Hot chili squid, extra barbecue, charcoal grilled chicken and sumtum flavor, fried chicken wing sriracha, and there's Lay's Max Extra Crunch chicken yakitori. What? Boat noodle flavor, shrimp tum yum hot pot flavor. These are some really interesting Lay's chips. A ton of beverages from water to juices to teas. Oh, there's a giant ready to eat section including salads, fruits, yogurts, sausage, burgers. There's sushi and tons of ready to eat Thai dishes. Instant noodle section over here. Whole bakery section over here with different types of croissants. Croque Monsieur. Look at this. There's sandwiches, there's buns. Oh, this ham and cheese bun looks awesome. There's also a little cafe section that serves food. Refreshment section, like with Slurpees and drinks, iced coffees, Thai iced tea, and a giant TV that kind of makes this place look like you're in an aquarium. 7-Eleven comes with a shopping cart. Let's try some Lay's chips. Boat noodle, there's shrimp tom yum, two in one. Fried chicken wings, sriracha. Let's get some boat noodle.
Oh my goodness, this is so cool. So you can take a bottle of Coke and there's a machine here that makes it into Coke slush. Send me loving breakfast. Chicken steak salad, tuna salad. Not exactly magical, but there's some slush in it. Upstairs at the seating area, I got this little tray of sauces that they gave me for my food. This is the most beautiful meal I've ever gotten at a 7-Eleven. First of all, this is an omelet with slices of bacon, runny egg on top with basil and pork chilies mixed in. That is a delicious plate of food that I got for about two US dollars. The rice is fragrant. The omelet is super fluffy and soft. The pork is well seasoned and spicy. There's definitely a good bowl of bacon and eggs. I'm gonna add some of this chili sauce they gave me. Mm. That made this even better. The bacon is good. All that yummy, rich egg yolk running down, combining with the rice and pork. This dish is fragrant, it's meaty, it's spicy, it's rich, it's yolky. Best $2 I ever spent at 7-Eleven. I was super excited about this. I really wanted a freshly made slushy Coke. It's only partly slushy. This dish is really good though. This is definitely the best value dish I ever had at 7-Eleven. A Thai pizza. Last time I had a pizza at a 7-Eleven. It was a Domino's pizza. And it wasn't all that good. It comes with some herbs and chilies, some chili sauce, ketchup. Whoa. And this is a pork belly pizza. The sausage, cheese, tomatoes, green and red peppers. Add my herbs and chilies, some oregano. Chilies. <coughs> what a mouthful of chilies. We definitely put a lot of sausage under the pork belly and the cheese as well. For a 7-Eleven pizza, it costs about three bucks. It is not too shabby. The crust is pretty airy, nice and crispy on the bottom. There's a lot of topping. The pork belly I love is the same pork belly that's in the rice. That stuff is super tender and fatty and melty. The sauce is a little on the sweeter side. I'm gonna add some chili sauce to this. Wow, that chili sauce really didn't do anything. I think this chili sauce is way better. Here are some of that. Mm. This is really, really good chili sauce, by the way. Not too spicy, but super flavorful. Mm. I like the little oregano chili pack they gave you. Definitely added a lot of fragrance. Like I said, the texture's really good. Nothing about this pizza is dry. The topping's good. The crust surprisingly light. Like I said, if you're walking into 7-Eleven and you're just craving the heck out of pizza, not a bad option. This is the other hot item, so I got this bun. I'm not exactly sure what this is. Oh, this is awesome. This is the greatest thing to ever happen in the world of buns. This is an egg custard bun. This is one of the best sweet items I've ever had at 7-Eleven anywhere in the world. The outside of the bun is very crusty. The bun itself is airy and this eggy custard. It's like the 7-Eleven gods made this. Hmm. I feel like there's some roasted coconuts in here. It's so rich and creamy. 10 out of 10. I got a couple tarts from the 7-Eleven here. 
first of all, it's a coconut tart. Oh, this is a hefty little tart. Feels very dense, it looks flaky. Oh. Mm. The size of it is buttery and flaky. The coconut cream is delicious. I do feel like that the bottom is very dense and a little tough. And the coconut cream is sitting on an egg custard as well. This is really interesting. So this is an egg tart with, I think this is Norwegian cheese. I've seen something similar to this in South Korea. And this cheese is a savory cheese, but it goes really, really well with dessert. Yeah, I'm stupid. This is not cheese at all. Definitely looks like what I had. I think it's shredded coconut. Whatever it is, that's good. I haven't really got to a lot of the savory food items yet. This looks like a ham roll. So again, that same pork belly they use in a lot of dishes. It's twisted into this long pastry. I think this would have been good. Maybe fresh out of the oven. I mean, it's very buttery. At this point, it's just kind of soggy and not flaky at all. This looks intense though. I'm really excited about this. It says this is a ham and cheese bun downstairs. I don't think there's any ham in here. Oh, it's a ham and cheese bun. It's a really good ham and cheese bun. Crusted cheese on top of this bun and there's syrup on top of that. So the whole thing has this caramelized burnt sugar flavor. That is really, really good. Mm. Inside pieces of ham baked into the bun, giving it a little savoriness and fattiness. I mean, the syrup on top, it's a little sweet, but also a little salty. So this whole thing is just this magical balance of sweet and savory, fluffy and crusty. There's a ton of textures, a lot of different flavors. Really unique, delicious bun. This 7-Eleven is so impressive when it comes to this baked goods. This is the last bun I got. This is another custard bun. Oh, this bun is so soft. This thing feels like a pillow. I think there's pandan inside. Mmm. There's a lot of pandan inside. Mmm. Again, super pillowy bun. So much custard filling inside. I think without the custard filling, this thing might just fly up in the sky it's so light. Last sweet item I got, it's a mandarin orange cake. Mmm. Wow, this is a very citrusy piece of cake. I mean, the cake part of this is really good. The cake is very, very spongy, super light. It's just very, very, very citrusy. I feel like I need a spicy dish or something. Let me go find one. Try that slushy machine again. The fans have definitely got slushier than the Coke. Mm. That's really good. Got a few microwave meals. This is seafood and Tom Yum sauce over rice. The seafood contains squid, shrimp, mussels, some shallots, mushrooms. delicious. This thing is a little sweet. The veggies are crunchy. The seafood's good. The rice is fragrant and it is spicy. Mm. This hum yum sauce is spicy. It's citrusy. Goes really, really well with the Thai rice. There's also some basil in here, some greens. I love this. This next one is pork with thick, wide noodles. Slices of pork on top, some greens, wide noodles on the bottom, and this thick, rich gravy. Oh, there's tons of noodles in here. I feel like this one would be really good with some vinegar and chili. The noodles are actually really springy, and the pork is very, very tender. The gravy's thick and rich, a little bit sweet. Let me try this hot sauce. Let's see if this makes it a lot better. This one definitely needs more of that sharp Thai vinegar. Because right now the gravy is so thick. We need something to kind of cut through this, make it a little less rich. There's so much pork in here that after eating a few bites, like I feel the stickiness on my lips already. One of my favorite Thai dishes is minced pork with chilies and basil. So whenever I see this at a food stall or a restaurant or a 7-Eleven, I want to eat it. 
amazing. This is the best one. Basil is so fragrant. There's so much garlic in here. This thing is just pure heat. The sauce is good. The pork is delicious. Another reason I love the frozen rice dishes here in Thailand, I love the rice. All my rice at home are Thai rice. To me, it's just the most fragrant rice there is. It's just drizzle, the sauce, and the meat, and the basil all over this thing. The rice becomes even better, more fragrant, spicier. Just a perfect compliment to the spicy pork dish. Can't leave the 7-Eleven without trying the instant noodle. Mala flavor hot cup. Actually, getting a little late, but I head back to Bangkok before the traffic gets really crazy, so I'll eat this for dinner. Dinner time. Just cooked up this ramen. It's pretty much the same as the instant hot pot that I had before. Just drop the pack in, put some water in the instant noodle. Whoa. This is really good. I mean, there's no veggie packs in here, no meat. There's, I think, a little fried tofu. Hmm. That's a crystal fungus. Hmm. The soup kind of tastes like an extreme tom yum broth. It's mala, numbing and spicy, but also citrusy and sour. This is not a lightweight broth at all. It definitely tastes like a mix between tom yum and mala. Hmm. That's so good. Plus, this is something that you can pretty much take anywhere with you. As long as you have some water, you can cook this up. I think this and the instant hot pots are perfect camping foods. Then anywhere you go, you're gonna have some delicious spicy ramen. I give this a solid nine out of 10. Change that with some bolt noodle chips from Lay's. I don't know how Lay's does it. But these chips taste like meat and rich broth and noodles at the same time. It almost feels like you take, you're taking a slurp of a bolt noodle. They did a really good job with this. I mean, if you don't like bolt noodles, you're not gonna like this, but they definitely know the flavor. I'm so glad I got a little takeaway from the 7-Eleven. By the way, that was the most incredible 7-Eleven I've ever been to. It's so beautiful on the outside and on the inside. Incredibly clean. They microwave everything for you, so all you gotta do is give them the, the, the frozen dishes. They do all the cooking. There's 7-Eleven Cafe that serves breakfast, lunch, dinner. The pastry items are delicious. That was well worth the two-hour trip from Bangkok. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.